According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway, because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Even today, I can't believe that there really is a movie about a bee falling in love with a human woman. But these little honey factories are fascinating. Against all odds, maybe it really is true that bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Hey there, welcome back. In today's episode, you're not going to believe this, we're going to talk about bees and their honey. In the bee movie, bees go about their daily life just like humans. But how do they know when to do these things? A now viral experiment has asked this question. The experiment was very simple. Every day at 4 p.m., a scientist placed sugar water outside a beehive. And if you don't know, bees love white sugar because it is the most similar to nectar. Every day at 4 p.m., the bees will come out from their hive and go to the sugar water. One day, the scientists did not put the sugar water outside the hive. However, even though there was no sugar water available, the bees still began to leave the hive at 4 p.m. every day. As a result, it was concluded that bees could tell time. However, many people thought the explanation was insufficient and seemed inconceivable. Perhaps bees were calculating the angle of the sun rather than the passage of time. So they did the experiment again, but this time in complete darkness. And guess what? Even without sugar water and in the dark, the bees still left the hive at 4 p.m. every day. Then again, it was concluded that bees could tell time. Many people, however, continued to disagree. Perhaps they were merely following the heat of the sun instead of the angle. So, they repeated the experiment, but this time in an underground salt mine with no sunlight or heat. And what do you think happens? You guessed it right, the bees still left the hive at 4 p.m. every day. For the third time, it was concluded that bees could tell time. Did the people agree? Of course not. Isn't it possible that bees are monitoring the Earth's rotation instead of time? Okay. Max Renner, another chronobiologist at the University of Munich, conducted the last experiment. On June 13, 1955, he convinced an airplane crew to fly a live, slumbering beehive all the way from Paris to New York where he again conducted the experiment. What do you think happened next? The bees left the hive at 10 a.m. Do you know why? Because the bees had jet lag. Finally, it was concluded that bees could perceive time. After traveling across a different time zone, the bees had jet lag, indicating the presence of an internal clock, independent of the environment. Have you ever wished to convey your feelings via song and dance like a musical star? Well, bees do this every day. Their hive is essentially one continuous musical about daily life in the hive. Have you seen bees dancing? A colony of bees works together to gather food. They aim to collect as much pollen and nectar as possible in the shortest amount of time. When a good flower patch is discovered, bees from their colony send additional bees to the patch. How do they let those other bees know where the greatest flowers are? Well, they communicate. Inside the hive, bees use specific dances to communicate flower location. While one bee dances, others watch for directions to a certain flower patch. The dancing bee gives the viewing bees a taste of the nectar she collected while also smelling like the flower patch. Other bees use smell and taste to help them find the right flower. Amazing, isn't it? If a bee sees another bee doing the worm to a waltz, well, maybe that bee is just crazy? A scientist studied bees dancing and monitored how many bees would believe a fellow bee. 
He put sugar water in normal locations, a flower bed, a porch, a park, and brought a bee to the location. The bee would then fly back to the hive, dance, and its fellow bees would return for more sugar water. So the scientist repeated the experiment on a boat in the middle of a lake. The bee flew back to its hive, told its sisters about the delicious sugar water in the lake, and was promptly ignored. Its sisters assumed that crazy Aunt June was just on about some nonsense and continued about their day. Today, honey is well known for being naturally sweet and healthy. Honey starts as flower nectar collected by bees, which gets broken down into simple sugars that are stored inside the honeycomb. The design of the honeycomb and the constant fanning of hundreds of little wings causes evaporation, creating sweet, liquid honey. Honey is primarily sugar, but it also contains a variety of amino acids, vitamins, minerals, iron, zinc, and antioxidants. Stone Age drawings show that honey was first used by humans some 8,000 years ago. Applying honey to wounds as a topical healing salve or balm became the most often documented medical use of honey in cultures all over the world from this point forward. In Turkey, along the Black Sea, there are some beautiful rhododendron flowers frequented by bees. When these bees brought the nectar back to their hive, Grayanotoxins survived in the honey along with all the other antioxidants and minerals. The locals used it in religious ceremonies as well as to treat their ailments. A low dose gives you health benefits. A high dose can produce hallucinations and visions, giving it its name, mad honey. A higher dose can be fatal. I always think that the bee movie is ridiculous. With bees living like humans, falling in love with humans, and even suing humans for exploiting them. However, after learning about the long history of people and bees, it is clear that bees have a strong connection with humans and are very important to the world's existence. Perhaps this is why a movie about a bee falling in love with a human was made. Crazy, isn't it? I hope you enjoyed this episode and let us know what you think. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe, stay tuned for more exciting and interesting videos, and always remember to stay safe and be happy.